we're taking you on six stops at six, highlighting stories from six communities just outside the loop. And this morning, we're going to visit places like the Woodlands, like Sunnyside, Rose Sharon, and also Tombaugh. So let's start off here. In Conroe, police have announced overnight they're looking for a missing 57 year old man who they say suffers from dementia. Jose Jesus Guerrero was last seen on Belvedere Street about 1130 yesterday morning. Police say he is known to take walks and was wearing a dark green Killian's beer shirt and blue jeans when he last vanished. In Rocheron, investigators say they've identified the remains of a man 17 years after he went missing. Robin Mangrum, last seen in a 2005 at a convenience store. Now deputies say that the skeletal remains found right near FM 1462 and FM 521 are those of Mangrum. Investigators don't know how he died at this point. Meantime, in Cleveland, school leaders want the state to make East Houston Avenue much safer after two students were hit by a truck while trying to cross the street right in front of Cleveland High School. It happened Monday night. The district is encouraging parents to talk to their children about walking in the dark. And in Sunnyside, meantime, the Solid Waste Department says it's looking into why no one has cleaned up a pile of trash. Neighbors first reported it uh, to Larkspur two months ago. Reported it on Larkspur, that is, if you're familiar with the area. ABC 13 found three open reports with 311 filed between September and October. In Tomball, TxDOT is planning to widen at least two segments of the Grand Parkway. And the first will stretch between Highway 249 and Kirkendall, the other between Kirkendall and Holsworth. A public meeting will be held in April. TxDOT says traffic has increased by 50% in this stretch of the Grand Parkway in the past six years. To the woodlands we go. It has been named one of the best places to raise a family. The list was compiled by Rocket Mortgage, and it looked at things like education, family activities, also affordability. It found the cost of living in the Woodlands is 13% higher than the U.S. average. The median cost of a home, $457,000.